Last time on Pilgrim. Oh god! Oh my god, you just waiting for me to be vulnerable, you Holy crap, that was the thing just scared me the most of anything in this game so far. And the mistranslations carry on. Hello everybody, Washoot here, and welcome back to Pilgrim! So I guess we went into like this little child area, I'm not really sure what the hell is going on here. Little floating adorable clouds and beautiful drawings on the wall are clearly the evidence of a genius, genius craftsman at work here. Um, no, but seriously, last time it was pretty fucked up. Let's see what's in the right. Oh. Okay, let's see, but this time carefully. Are they friendly? Or are they dangerous? I can't tell. They look like they might be friendly. What are they doing? And why? Okay. Getting in the way. Is this an E? Okay, this is clearly a mystery. We'll come back to that one. I have no idea what's going on. What about leftwards? Oh. Hello, my little friend. Welcome to level six. Good to be here. Here is Miss Nekanemanorf's room. You must say the correct passcode to enter, Ray. Okay, but passcode is really meaningless in my opinion. Because you can always find it somewhere. Oh. 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 The cockroach was hiding it! That's why! <laughs> okay. That works for me. I mean, I guess you could... That you trusted that cockroach to be like a safe keeper of that password, and he just told it to me for free. Ah, going in? Okay, okay. I know you've found the passcode, right? Well then, I'm going. Goodbye. Wow, you just dematerialized. Okay. Oh, oh, you're the one playing this music. Hey, Akemi. Thank you. Why are you listening to that? I mean, there are better ones out there. What happened? You look terrible. Huh? Where's the other guy? He died. We don't talk about that. Ah, the other guy died, right? Ah, it's rude of me to say died, right? <laughs> I guess you're looking for Master Alice. She is just one story up. Though, you need a key to enter. Where is the key? I'm keeping it. Then give me. But I can't give it to you for free. If you can do one thing for me, the key will be yours. Say it. Can I call your sister as well? Oh, call you sister as well? What? Huh? I'm so impressed by your love to Inago, so... So I'm thinking if I can have a sister like you, how lucky I will be. I'm the only child in my family. I want to be your sister, so please allow me to call you sister. That's simple. Well, whatever you want. Really? Thank you so much, sister. And then, where's the key? Uh, yes, of course, I'll give it to you. I can't refuse my sister's request while wow, role-playing. Obtain the key to the top floor. What? By the way, how are you going to save Inago from Master Alice? No plan, actually. That's not right. Master Alice is not so easy to deal with. Do you want to know Master Alice's weak points? Weak points? There is one thing that Master Alice can never do. And it is... Breaking her word. Huh? Once Master Alice makes a promise, she can't violate it even if she wants to. I don't know why, but yeah, she just can't. So how is that going to help? Hmm, true. <laughs> this kind of information is indeed useless. Anyway, fighting my sister. Okay, okay. Thank you for the key. Ah, my sister! Please come visit me again when you're free. <laughs> yeah, it's not happening. Who wants to come to this terrible place again? Yeah, you little... Oh, no, she's just like, oh, those are my feelings. Ouch. I'll always be waiting for you, my sister. <laughs> what? 
That's weird. She's kind of a strange one, but I like her. I kind of like her. And by like, I mean tolerate, and by tolerate, I mean I can't stand her at all, weird eyeball lady. Okay, so we got our key now. Are we just gonna go up and just like kill? I mean, the only thing we have, we have a weapon, we have a battle axe key, we have a watering can and a lighter. This is not an arsenal to take down a magician. That's why we have a key, sweet pea. There we go. Oh, okay, saving. Okay, that's a cat from the witch's house. Hello, kitty. Hello, my little friend. What are you doing? Just standing, motionless. So I can see something in the grass. It's being a cat. It's being a cat in the grass. Back to the game. Okay, what about you? The death is watching. Don't step out the path. What path? Is there a path that I need to be watching out for? I don't get it. Face, tell me more, please. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll stay on the path, I promise. Oh, God! I failed. What path? I didn't see any path. That's a wrong one. That's... Oh, my God. I can't talk to Sue and get his opinion because he's dead. Dang it. Oh, my God. I'm scared. Is the cat pointing the way to the path for me? Thank you, kitty. If you are telling me the truth right now. You are being a good kitty. It's a bad kitty. There's no way this is the right path. I mean, the cat had to be telling me though. Oh, they are the kitties! Thank you, my little, my little feline friends. Okay. Thank you. That is not right. There we go. Oh. It's a wrecked kitty. We're gonna make it. Looks like there's just a tiny, teeny little leeway that you get to have. It'll be okay. Oh, it's trying to trick me. I want to talk to that face so bad, but I can't. It would kill me. How long is this? And why are the cats pointing the way? The cats are in on this. They hate Master Alice too. They forgot it. Opened a door for them when they came back and the cats hold grudges for those kind of things. It's a huge transgression of the feline kind. Oh! Oh, hello! Okay. Oh, God! Inago! Uh, Kami, sister! You're finally here! Gallus, give me back Inago! No, yeah, Kami, sister, please run! Alice will kill you! You're right, so give up. Go back and enjoy your own sweet life. See? You've met Inago. Isn't it a great time for you to go back now? Alice, you. What are you doing, or what are you going to do to Inago? I'll only take Inago's soul, and that's all. What are you talking about? How dare you? How dare me? Of course I dare to. I'm sure Inago knows the reason, too. Huh? Two years ago, do you still remember those three dead girls who bullied you? No, I'll tell you. They didn't commit suicide. I killed them. Why did you do that? Of course, it's for saving you from those bulliers. I couldn't bear others to bully you. I wanted to help you. Kidding. In fact... It's a Naga who begged me to help you. Please kill those girls, she said. You, you lied. I only wanted you to stop them from bullying my sister. I never asked you to kill them, never. Inago, I didn't realize you knew that I was bullied. Because of me, to protect me, Akemi's sister was bullied. I couldn't forgive that. I really wanted to help you. But I was not able to do anything helpful. At that time, Alice appeared. She said she could make my dream come true. I... I didn't really trust her. I just... I just randomly gave a try. And the next day... Those girls died the next day. Yep, that's the story. And whatever I did for you is not free. If I made her dream come true, she would give me her soul after two years. That's our deal. I'm sorry, Akemi's sister. I didn't know it's going to turn out like this. 
Alice, it's you. You made use of Inago's kindness. You're really rubbish. Whatever you want to say, you are not able to defeat me anyway. But how about I give you a chance? Want to play a game with me again? If you win, I'll give back Inago. And let's play tag. I'll be the one chasing. If you can get out of this building without a tag, I'll let you free. Alice, you serious? Of course, I never break my own word. Deal, let's do it! Now get me, sister. Inago. No worry, I'll save you, I promise. Great. So, I'll start counting to ten. One. Let's go, Inago! Okay. Here we go. Story six. Am I supposed to immediately begin running? Story five. Story four. Although we are in story three, Alice doesn't seem to be chasing us. Then, I understand. Alice will never play a game that she can't win. I can't win her. But, even if I lose to her in the end, I have my plan B. Oh! Ah! Uh, why? You're so slow. I win. I knew this is gonna happen. Uh, Kimmy, sister. We lost. No, uh she didn't tag us yet. <laughs> Sad. Alice, you said you made a Nago's dream come true. If that's real, how about listen to my dream as well? Huh? It's unfair to make only a Nago's dream come true, I guess. Can you make my dream come true as well? Huh? Ekimi sister! I see, of course I can! But you'll pay it with your soul. I don't really mind. Well, so say it! If you want my soul, take it whenever you want. But let Inago go. Set her free. Akami sister, no. Is that all? You'll not get anything in the end, though. Akami, no, don't do that. I'm sorry, Inago. I have to say goodbye to you here. What are you talking about? Don't do that, please. Thank you for everything you've done for me. Be alive. Please. Akimi. Inago? Inago has gone back. I made your dream come true in a second. No chance to cancel your request anymore. I see. So now, your soul is mine. Um, you, you're holding a knife. Shit, that's very human. Uh. Here is... Where is my sister? Dad. Inago, what are you doing here? It's midnight already. I've been looking for you for a long time. Dad? Where is sister? Huh? She has gone back home, right? Sister? Who is that? Huh? My sister, Akemi! Akemi? I don't know her, though. What are you talking about? Anyway, whatever. Let's go back home now. Akemi. Sister. My sister. Akemi. Good job, my sister. 
A lot of things happen, but finally everything ends. I can live with you from now on. I'm satisfied, too. You're expecting this ending from the very beginning, right? <laughs> you must be kidding. Stupid kid. Ending. My sister. You stupid monster! I'm at your back! Ah, gimme! Brain him right in the head. There you go. Sue, don't do silly things, okay? Return you. Your words. Okay, so this is different now. Now we have our friend Sue this time. Hell yeah! Hell yes! I am ready to have friendship with this uh, strange looking man. So last time, if you don't remember, uh, he totally got split in half right there because he decided to save us and we stayed in the locker like a little sissy pants. Why is here, Forrest? This is magic, Alice is magic. She wants us to get lost. Oh, well guess what? I'm not gonna fall for it because the cats are my friend. I already know this one. Inago. Akami's sister. You're finally here. Alice. Alice, give me back Inago. No, Akami, please run. Alice will kill you. You're right, so give up. Go back and enjoy your own sweet life. See, you've met Inago. Isn't it a great time for you to go back now? Alice, you. What are you going to do to Inago? I'll only take Inago's soul, that's all. What are you talking about? How dare you? How dare me? Of course I dare to. I'm sure Inago knows the reason, too. Huh? Two years ago, do you still remember those three dead girls who bullied you? Now I tell you, they didn't commit suicide. I killed them. Why did you do that? Of course, it's for saving you from those bulliers. I couldn't bear others to bully you. I wanted to help you. Kidding. In fact, it's Inago who begged me to help you. Please kill those girls, she said. You, you lied. I only wanted you to stop them from bullying my sister. I never asked you to kill them, never. Inago, I didn't realize you knew that I was bullied. Because of me, to protect me, Akumi was bullied. I couldn't forgive that. I really wanted to help you, but I was not able to do anything helpful. At that time, Alice appeared. She said she could make my dream come true. I didn't really trust her. I just randomly gave a try. And the next day, those girls died the next day. Yep, that's the story. And whatever I did for you is not free. If I made her dream come true, she would give me her soul after two years. That's our deal. I'm sorry, Akemi sister. I didn't know I was going to turn out like this. Oh, it's going to turn out like this. Alice, it's you. You made use of Inago's kindness. You're really rubbish. Whatever you want to say, you are not able to defeat me anyway. But how about I give you a chance? Want to play a game of with me again? If you win, I'll give back Inago. And let's play tag. I'll be the one chasing. If you can get out of this building without a tag, I'll let you free. Alice, you serious? Of course, I never break my own word. Deal, let's do it. Wait a minute, Yakimi. She can use magic, remember, so you can't win. Then what should I do? I'll stay here to stop her moving. Huh? If you do that, you'll be in danger, Sue. How are you going to escape then? Don't worry. As long as you two are safe. 
Sue, why do you... I want to ask you too. Don't you hate Inago? Huh? You still don't understand. This Sue is a dead body. She died two years ago. One of those girls I killed. Huh? What? I'm sorry, I said nothing about myself. Do you still remember me, the blonde girl? That's you! But why? That world is terrible. I was cursed every day by all the bad things I did when I was alive. That's why I felt very bad for what I had done to you. So, I want to do something for you. Sue, I heard that world can change one's personalities. Sounds true. But can you really block my action? Oops, at most two to three seconds, I guess. I'll let you see. I'll do everything I can. Akami, I am just a dead body. I can't go with you. So you two must try your best and go out of here. I understand, Sue. Thank you. I promise we will get out of here. And I'll go, hurry, go with the Kemi. Akami. Inago, no worry, I'll save you, I promise. Great, so I'll start counting to ten. One, let's go, Inago. Great. I have no interest in playing with a dead cockroach. Ah! Why? You're so slow. I win. Sue. Akami's sister. We lost. Ha 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 ha! Sad. Alice, you said you made Inago's dream come true. If that's real, how about you listen to my dream as well? Huh? It's unfair to make only Inago's dream come true, I guess. Can you make my dream come true as well? Huh? Akimi. I see, of course I can, but you'll pay it with your soul. I don't really mind. Well, so say it. If you want my soul, take it whenever you want, but let Inago go. Set her free. Akami, no. Is that all? You're not getting anything in the end, though. Akami, no, don't do that. I won't let you touch them, Alice. Akami, run. Die. Sue, I told you before, you don't have the ability to stop me. How dare you? Eh? Uh, Akami, run. You! Run, hurry! Sue, what are you doing? Run! Off your hand! Inago, let's go! Sue, Thank you. Shit. We are back. Akami. Inago, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Thank God. Akami, sister. Sue, we'll stay there forever, right? It's my fault. It's all my fault. Sue died for me. If I didn't make that wish, everyone would still be alive now. You're... <laughs> You're probably right, you rotten little animal. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Okay. You're probably right. 
You killed Sue, but... I did too. If I could be braver when being bullied, Inaga would have no need to worry about me. Not only us, even Sue did wrong thing before. Akimi. All human beings make mistakes. But we have done whatever we could do to make up for them. Sue must be happy for us too. Akimi. Shall we go back home now? Yep, let's go. Hell yeah! That was fun! There were a lot of things in this game that definitely reminded me of a lot of different RPG Maker games. I was getting some pretty strong... I mean, this is a compliment. Okay, not an insult, a compliment. I was getting some pretty strong ib vibes, in a way. Kind of the single color backgrounds where it was like, Oh, a girl lost somewhere and monsters are killing them. But as opposed to Ib, like, this main character was so cool, you know? Where it's just like, I'm just gonna step onto your face, pull out a knife, stab something in the back. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. It's interesting to have kind of a strong female character that doesn't just, like, take back seat and just take shit from monsters, you know? Kind of reminds me a little bit of the heroine-esque character, even though the main character was, you know, a little rough around the edges. It still made it a little interesting in the end. Anyway, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.